even before the earliest Vedas were compiled, over three and a half thousand years ago, ancient Indians were studying the heavens, passing knowledge down orally. They studied the movement of celestial bodies to understand the rhythms of life on Earth. Indian astronomy was always strongly linked to Indian astrology. In ancient India, astrology was regarded as a science related to astronomy, which states could use with great effect, not just weddings, but all the events of state would be determined by your understanding of the stars. Across the ancient world, ideas on mathematics, astronomy, and astrology were exchanged and developed. Some of the most significant concepts were to emerge in India. In particular, the Surya Siddhant, believed by some to have been written by the great mathematician, astronomer, and poet Aryabhat 1500 years ago. According to it, the Earth takes 365 days, 6 hours, and 12 minutes to go around the Sun. That's remarkably close to modern day calculations made with all the tech available today. It is Aryabhata in the 5th century who comes up with the idea of a spherical Earth rotating on its own axis. He even calculates the circumference of the Earth. Aryabhat also authored one of the most enlightening works of its time, the Aryabhatiya. Written in Sanskrit verse, it remained unknown to the Western world for a millennium. Apart from concepts of arithmetic, trigonometry, and algebra, Aryabhatiya speaks of the Earth's rotation, explains solar and lunar eclipses, and hints at the idea of heliocentricity, of how the Earth and planets revolve around the Sun. It also describes the luminosity of the Moon and planets as a reflection of sunlight. His ideas were developed further by other scholars. The greatest work on astronomy and astrology in the era just before the building of the Madera Sun Temple uh, is produced by a scholar called Brahmagupta. Building on Aryabhat's world-changing decimal system based on the idea of zero or shunya. Brahmagupta provided rules for the application of zero and other mathematical principles. It was the ancient beginning of modern day counting and mathematics. His hypotheses were adopted by the Arabs and in time spread further west. In his seventh century writings, Brahmagupta calculated the position of the planets and stars. Centuries before Isaac Newton spoke of gravity, Brahmagupta described a force of attraction that causes objects to fall to Earth. 